All right, so welcome back to what should be the uh, part four and the last uh, part of this tutorial. Um, this should be really quick. I mean, there's nothing else we can uh, really do. I mean, we've got all the uh, view stuff set up, or we've got all the session uh, Shazam kit stuff set up. So all that's left is just to link up the uh, Swift UI with Shazam kit and make sure the functionality goes with the view and just test it out see if it works. That's all we really need to do. So, all right. So uh, in Video Detection Handler, uh, under the session uh, function, which is currently empty, uh, we are going to uh, fill this up with basically all the stuff we want to do once we found uh, a match with, you know, an audio file or a signature. So we're going to uh, do gargler item uh, and that's going to be item dot or match dot video or match dot media items dot first so we're just getting the first media item uh, that has been found and we're also going to grab the video info from it just make sure that there is a video info so item dot video info if there isn't we're just going to return because this is probably not what we're looking for because what we're looking for is you know one of my videos uh, and that video should have video info inside it because otherwise we can't really do anything with it. So let's, uh, so I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do here is do delegate dot uh, found video. Actually, do we have the delegate? Oh, one thing, oh yes, uh, we haven't added it. Uh, we have the protocol for delegate. We haven't added actually, we haven't actually added anything for this delegate. So we're going to create a variable called uh, delegate, and that's going to be off type video detection handler delegate. Uh, the content view will can assign itself as uh, a delegate once it's once we do that. So that's how we're going to link stuff up. So we're going to tell the delegate or the content view that we found a video. So delegate to found video. Uh, the info is going to just be the video info. Type stack is just the uh, item dot predicted current match offset so it's just predicting what part of the video it's in so back to the content view um, we're going to then uh, go over to content view and we're going to what we're going to do here is uh, create a constant called uh, let detection handler uh, and make that a new video detection handler. I'm also gonna make content view a, uh, a t of type video detection handler delegate uh, so we can add this found video uh, function inside. Okay, uh, and then one thing we want to do is set up uh, de detection handler and uh, create and set and assign content view as its delegate but one thing you may be wondering is, where do we do that? With UIKit, uh, there is this thing called did, uh, did view did load, and that's where you usually do all the setting up and all that. But uh, in the case of SwiftUI, there isn't really anything for that. So what we're going to do is uh, under VStack or wherever you find appropriate, uh, just anywhere that isn't inside here, uh, you can go do on appear, perform. So on uh, once everything's appeared, which is basically like your view did load, or actually uh, it's actually more of like a view did appear sort of thing. Uh, we can actually do detection handler uh, dot delegate equals self, just assigning our content view as its delegate, and then we can do detection handler dot setup just setting everything up so making sure a microphone works all of that okay so once you found a video first of all i'm going to do another dispatch queue dot main dot async uh because inside here uh of course we're going to be changing some stuff in the view we need the main frame so if we're in the game uh then we're going to be doing doing some stuff related to the game. For example, checking if it's in a certain point in the video and moving on to the next, you know, uh, to the next thing and marking it as correct. 
So uh, otherwise, if we're not in the game, I'm just gonna assign game data's game data's video to uh, the info. And the beauty and the beauty of uh, you know observed objects and you know at state and all that is that it will automatically update. I don't have to update anything else. SwiftUI handles that for me. So uh, that's how I can keep everything down in one line, which is really really useful. Okay. But if we are in the game, then what happens? Well, first of all, we need to compare the time step with the uh, shuffle clips uh, time. So first of all, we need to check uh, if we can grab our clip. So uh, if let uh, clip or target clip equals to uh, info, actually no, game data dot shuffle clips dot uh, is it game data dot shuffle clips and it's going to be since this is an optional I believe I have to add a question mark and inside this game data dot clips done and then we're gonna put in dot one so we can grab the uh, target oh, it's not target clip it should be I'm just gonna say target and this is a time interval so we can this is basically how many seconds into a video we're in uh, which we should be figuring out uh, which we should be uh, targeting. Uh, and then after, uh, if t this like shuffle clips, clips um, the time interval, the point of the video we're trying to find is not nil, you know, it still exists, which it should, it definitely should. Um, then we can do a bit of maths. So uh, the absolute of time stamp, minus game data dot shuffle clips oh no sorry uh of target so time stamp minus target uh is less than three so basically we're taking away the target timestamp from the timestamp that's being recognized uh we're putting in this in absolute because uh so we can make sure it's a positive number so we can actually grab a difference uh, and making sure it's less than three seconds. And from there, uh, if that's all correct, yeah, so then that means that we are within the target, I mean, and that, you know, we're in basically the right part of the video. So, uh, so we also need to check whether or not we're at the end of this. So if game data dot clips done uh, plus one, is less than game data dot shuffle clips uh, dot count. Actually, I'm gonna set this. I'm just gonna make this shuffle clips actually, uh, and then uh, in this target, it's gonna be shuffle clips, and then I'm just gonna paste that back in. So shuffle clips game data dot clips done dot one. So instead of having to, so then I can just put this in as shuffle clips dot count. So we're just making sure the the amount of clips that have been done is the same as shuffle clips dot count. So uh, that we have that it's basically checking whether or not we're at the end. Oh, uh, actually no, lesson means that we are not at the end yet, and that we should set game data dot clips done and add one to it. So we're basically moving on to the next question. Uh, else, the else we can set in game to false so we're not in the game anymore and we have to reset the game data i think that's all we need to do um so i guess i'm just gonna hit command r actually i'm gonna check make sure that in game is false and there's no video data um everything's just being reset as it should be all right i'm gonna do command r and I'm going to wait for this to start. Okay, so everything's loaded up and it seems to uh, be working out fine. So let's uh, try out by, let's start with this WWDC 19 this video. Oh, audio is looping twice, that's odd. Anyways, as you can see, it shows it. And of course, if I load another one, uh, for example, this video, it should change. Oh, this window disappeared. There we go. 
uh, yeah, so it works. Uh, and I am actually going to, let me just open this up in quick time, uh, just so it's easier to display. Okay, uh, let me just go back to these videos. Okay, so there we go, it's loaded, and without further ado, let's get started. So I have to scroll to this part of the video, see if I can find it. I believe that is near the end of the game, so we play this. The hammer three times, the blood's now spinning around, exploding, and there we go. There you go, it works. Uh, so yeah, the circle lights up green and then goes back to red after two seconds, and that's good. So if there's five questions and there's five clips I need to find here, not questions. Uh, and so I believe this is in the battle. The reason why I know all of this is, uh, you know, because I'm the one who made who made these videos, who uh, made these videos. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, I I would know what these are. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna play this. You know, the one that was smashing up that laptop, and you have to do this by drawing. It works. Uh, let's go back here. I wonder what part of this video this is in. Um, see, so yeah, I mean, this all works. I'm just playing around here, uh, just because I can. So, I mean, there's nothing else I really need to put here. By drawing shapes that match the drawings on the debris pieces. Okay, that works. Right hand corner of the screen. So, as you can see here, there's a short... And now we're on the fifth part of the video. Uh, so we have to go back. By the way, this is all randomized, so this is all actually, you know, in different parts of the video. So I'm going forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards. So I think it's over here. 100% accurate. It's around like, it's, it's accurate around like 90%. There you go. So it just goes back to uh, the starter screen. I'm going to go and, oh, I shouldn't be quitting because I'm recording with QuickTime. So let me just close that window. Well, that was a close one. <laughs> Okay, let's try out WDC20. This one's fairly short because uh, there's not much in this. Hello. There we go, so it's detected it. Okay, so there's only two questions here. I'm just. Yeah, okay. Welcome to the association of. There you go, it works. Uh, and find and play this part of the video. Um. I wonder, I think it's maybe here. And there you go. So that, so the app works. It's working just fine. Uh, I'm just gonna stop the simulator so I can uh, spare some processing power. I'm gonna quit uh, the simulator and Xcode since we're done with that. Gonna close this off. I'm going to move myself in the video in the center. And so, yeah, the app works. Uh, so thanks for watching this four part tutorial series. And I'm going to move on to the outro. So see you there. And of course, I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned something new along the way. If you enjoyed it, do like and subscribe. It'll help me out. And it's only two buttons you really just have to click. My Twitter and Instagram handles are at Yuma Serianto, and you can also check out my website at www.madebyyuma.com. And as always, goodbye and see you next time.